Dan Rooney, a pillar of Pittsburgh who built his life around three things, faith, family, and football. Dan was really uh, a beautiful reflection of his dad. He was beloved by fans, and to players, he was always a man of his word. I wouldn't be a Steeler if it wasn't for Mr. Rooney. So the city stands in a final salute to the man who wielded great power, yet showed great humility. The best honor that we get, can give him is first of all to say thanks to God for the blessing of a man like him. And today mourners came from near and far, former players, even a former president, all gathering in Oakland to salute Dan Rooney. Rooney was known here in Pittsburgh and around the world. His passion for football and for people won't soon be forgotten. We have team coverage for you tonight. Andy Sheehan with a look at Rooney's family ties. But first, Lynn Hayes Freeland on today's moving funeral mass. Lynn. Ken, you know, St. Ken, St. Paul Cathedral is one of the largest churches in the area. It holds seats about 2,000 people, and just about every seat was filled today as the city, the NFL, heck, the nation, came out to say goodbye to Dan Rooney. The chairman of the Pittsburgh Steelers, the former U.S. ambassador to Ireland and inductee into the Football Hall of Fame. Dan Rooney made his final entry into St. Paul Cathedral in Oakland just before 11 a.m. Tuesday morning. He was a wonderful man and he was a compassionate man, but uh, football was his, was his love and, uh, and, he was, and he was all business. And today his friends, family, players and confidants came out to say well done Dan Rooney, well done. Pittsburgh turned Hollywood actor Joe Manganiello was here too. And so were many of the men that have donned Steeler uniforms over the years. Green, Bettis, Harris, to name a few. Mr. Rooney was about three things, obviously with faith, family, and Arch said football, but I like to think friendships are in there as well. And we all thought we were friends with Mr. Rooney. The funeral mass was very much about family, with his grandchildren reading scriptures as well as prayer. Son Art brought laughter to the filled cathedral as he recalled his father answering a cell phone call in the communion line, then remarking he thought it was the commissioner. As a player, you would have got fined if your phone went off in a meeting. As his grandsons and player Ike Taylor brought the casket out of the church, there were tears, applause, and cheers for the man Pittsburgh knew best as the chairman of the black and gold. Now, many of those inside St. Paul Cathedral today actually knew Dan Rooney. They had a relationship with him, but there were people who stood outside throughout the entire service because they, too, wanted to say goodbye, and we'll have their story coming up new at 6. For now, reporting live in Oakland, I'm Lynn Hayes-Freeland, KDKA-TV News.